Hello all, uh, this is the Lucian Mains program by Neo AS. Today we will be discussing about BRICS, that is the Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. For Mains, BRICS is important topic for GS2, that is bilateral, regional and global groupings involving India. So what is BRICS? BRICS is a grouping of emerging national economies. The acronym stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The idea of BRIC excluding South Africa that is BRIC was suggested by a British economist named Jim O'Neill and the initial meeting of BRIC countries took place in 2006 when the foreign ministers of these countries met formally that is for the mutual development of the member countries. The first BRICS summit was held in Yekaterinburg in Russia in 2009. Since then they have met annually at formal events every year. So the grouping became BRICS when South Africa joined it in 2010. 2018 summit was held in Johannesburg in South Africa. The theme being BRICS in Africa collaboration for inclusive growth and shared prosperity in the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, to strive towards the creation of an inclusive society that will bring prosperity to all humankind. Now why does the world need BRICS? The main reason for cooperation to start BRICS was the financial crisis of 2008. The crisis affected developed countries economies but the developing countries were growing at 6% or more. Uh, the growth rate of the global economy depended on the developing economies. This increased their bargaining power and prompted them to come together and increase their stature with respect to the group of seven and the OECD countries that is the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the leadership of these two groups that is the G7 or the OECD groups were no longer undisputed and uh, next as an alternative to the West or the American European Union dominated institutions and the US United States of America and European Union together with Japan they control most of the regional development banks. BRICS is also important platform for discussing global challenges and coordinating their actions. Uh, the small size of the group helps in shaping the discussion at the summit. Lastly opens up a possibility for the global south or the third world countries to challenge the global north or the developed countries. Moving on to the objectives of it. What are the objectives of it? Stronger economic collaboration, improving political and security cooperation, the democratization of the United Nations, the expansion of the United Nations Security Council of which Russia and China are permanent members, reform of global financial governance like the, the governance of IMF or World Bank still dominated by the countries of the West and South-South framework of cooperation for development of global South or the third world. Speaking in unison for the trade and climate change negotiations on behalf of the developing countries, increasing market access, mutual trade and investment creating a business friendly environment for all BRICS countries etc. Inclusive economic growth to eradicate poverty, address unemployment, increase social inclusion, strengthening multilateralism, rule of law and equitable international order. These are some of the stated objectives of the BRICS. Now what are the achievements of the BRICS so far? One is the establishment of the new development bank. Now the idea of new development bank was put forward by India as an multilateral institution to focus on infrastructure projects in the BRICS countries or other developing nations as it proceeds. Next the BRICS contingency reserve arrangement to provide protection against global liquidity pressures. The new development bank and BRICS contingency reserve arrangement are seen as competitors to IMF and World Bank and are also seen as an example of increasing South-South cooperation. The BRICS payment system similar to SWIFT payment system where again the US dominates that system. During the Crimean crisis, the US had 
put pressure on the system to remove Russia from the SWIFT payment panel. Uh, the BRICS summit helps to discuss about geopolitical issues on the Doklam standoff between India and China was said to have been resolved over talks that occurred during the Fiamen BRICS summit. Lastly, it provides a platform for leaders to share their views regarding other geopolitical issues. Now that we have seen the achievements of BRICS, what is holding the BRICS back or the concerns regarding the BRICS? One is the regional aspiration. India, China both want to dominate the Asian neighborhood. The governance of these countries are also different. India, Brazil, South Africa for one are democracies. Russia and China are authoritarian regimes. There is trade conflict between various countries in the groupings. Where Brazil and Russia are commodity exporting and benefit from high commodity prices while India and China are importers that benefits from low commodity prices. Territorial issues that we have mentioned. And China also has outstanding territorial issues with India as well as with Russia. With India, we, China has, has issues in Aksai Chin. It is also claiming that Arunachal Pradesh is part of their territory, part of Tibet. China also spearheads three major initiatives in the region. There is the Belt and Road Initiative, where again India and China are at odds. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The BRICS countries have very little in common. The Chinese economy is almost 20 times the size of the South African economy. The income per person in India is much less than that in Russia. China and Russia who are permanent members of the United Security Council are not in favor of expansion of the UNSC to accommodate India or sharing their powers with other countries. The BRICS as a grouping also maintains low profile on security issues. Next we shall see why BRICS is important for India. BRICS provides an opportunity for India to build its global profile. BRICS provides a platform for more dialogue with China. Now we have seen how just mentioned that the Dokalam standoff got resolved owing to the BRICS summit CMN last year. Cooperation on economic front is a major focus for India. Now India is also the fastest growing economy of, of this block. India is a service oriented and other members are manufacturer oriented. So both can complement each other for their development. Brazil and South Africa are also important for India as a gateway into their respective continents South America and Africa. Now prior to the BRICS 2018 summit during which we saw India reaching out to Africa. During this time India uh, there has been nearly 23 state visits to Africa by President, Vice President and the PM. However, there are some areas where India BRICS relation has been problematic. India has been unable to get BRICS countries to openly support our fight against terrorism and no decision was taken to set up BRICS credit rating agency favored by India. The existing ones like the Standard & Poor, Moody's and Fitch do not fairly rate the developing countries as is stated by India. Even Russia claims that its rating was deliberately lowered after the Crimean crisis. Now while concluding, let us see what is the relevance of BRICS. Now, BRICS represents this infographics is what is the shows the relevance that is it rep represents nearly 3 billion population of the world or the four or 41 nearly 41 percent and the 40 million square kilometer in geographical area the BRICS nations have a combined nominal GDP of more than 16 trillion US dollars there's a the BRICS nations have nearly 4.46 trillion worth of US dollars in foreign reserve the BRICS countries have also been driving global growth since 2009. Pay forward. Now, China's dominance in BRICS is a reality. But the resolution of Doklam standoff prior to the Simon summit shows both India and China are willing to accommodate each other. Now, geostrategically, BRICS represents all the continents of the global south. And 
emphasis upon cooperation and solidarity of the global south nations. BRICS is also important for India to access Africa and South America as stated earlier. Each country within the BRICS needs the other to prosper. BRICS is also helping drive the movement towards global income equality and BRICS will continue to be influential as long as its convergence prevail over its divergences. Lastly, we need to look into what is BRICS plus and some of the key points about the BRICS 2018 summit that ended in Johannesburg. BRICS plus was actually introduced in the Siamen summit to cooperate with various developing nations. China had invited Egypt, Kenya, Tajikistan, Mexico etc. to the summit. South Africa emulated it by inviting countries like Argentina, Turkey, Jamaica, Indonesia as well as African countries as part of Africa Outreach Program. But the precise role of the BRICS Press will take time to evolve. However, the immediate benefit is that it provides an opportunity for networking among global leaders. Now, these are the countries that were invited for the BRICS Plus initiative. The map does not show Egypt or Indonesia. Now, lastly, what is, we'll look into the Johannesburg 2008 BRICS Summit. The Johannesburg Summit was held on the backdrop of US trade wars and the Johannesburg Declaration was adopted by consensus and stated its commitment to the principle of sovereign equality, democracy, inclusiveness, strengthening multilateralism, the rejection of growing unilateralism, uh, strengthening intra-trade among its members, the implementation of 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the full implementation of Paris Agreement, including the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities, strengthening cooperation in energy and transition to environment-friendly energy, supported the establishment of BRICS Agriculture Research Platform initiated by India in 2016. What are the new areas of BRICS cooperation? Establishment of a working group for peacekeeping, establishment of vaccine research center focused on research and development of vaccine innovation, BRICS gender and women forum for gender and women issues and BRICS tourism track of cooperation. Lastly, the leveraging of strategy for BRICS economic partnership towards the pursuit of inclusive growth and advancing the fourth industrial revolution. So that's all about BRICS. Thank you.